This is what happened in year 10. Not so dramatic as last year. Hi there, my name is Peter Grunewald. This is No Year Zero and here we are going to try and cover each year from the start of the Common Era. Yes, we are going to try and cover history year by year starting from year 1. I don't know what to do with my hands. In year 10, power has shifted in the world. Not by much, but you will see a change in the map if you look closely. There are still three main powers on Earth. Rome, Parthia and the Jin dynasty. Yes, there are other civilizations as you can see on this globe, but that is a topic for another video. If you'd like to know more about each of the civilizations on the globe, please find a link for that civilization below. So, let's get started. Here we will cover the people who were born of note in year 10. Hero of Alexandria, a Greek engineer and a person who could have started the industrial revolution in his lifetime. He devised a steam engine that nobody used. He is also remembered for the mathematical formula on how to determine a triangle's surface area. Pope Linus is born, an associate of Paul the Apostle and future Pope of the Catholic Church. He is born this year. He is the second Pope of the Catholic Church and he starts his papacy in year 67 of the Common Era. Louis Penzi, a future Chinese puppet emperor, is born. His story is complicated but intriguing. It includes the famous red eyebrows and we will talk more about him in year 25. Ophonius Tegelinius, a Roman Praetorian prefect, is born. He is the successor to Sextus Afrianus Burrus who we talked about in year one. Tegelinius was an imperial bodyguard of Emperor Nero. Here we will cover the events that happened in year 10. Well, events that we can place in this year that is. Future Emperor Tiberius starts a two-year campaign in Germania trying to keep control of Germanian promise after the chaotic retreat to the Rhine River after the Battle of Teutoburg Forest. The Greek dynasty in Indo-Greek Kingdom has come to an end after Strabo II died. This ended the Greek rule in the region dating all the way back to Alexander the Great's conquest of the area around 324 BCE. The domain that the Indo-Greek kingdoms ruled is swallowed up by the Indo-Scythian nobles, extending the borders of the Indo-Scythian dynasty. Emperor Wang Mang of the Jin dynasty outlaws the private purchase and use of crossbows. The Jin dynasty director for Wuhan affairs told the tribes of the Wuhan area to stop paying taxes or tribute to the Jin Nyu, the northern neighbor of the Jin dynasty. The Zhuangnu were not happy and captured a thousand women and children from the Wuhan tribes. Emperor Wang ordered the state of Zhuangnu, who also pays tribute to the Jin dynasty, to return the hostages. And they did. Now, this might sound a bit anticlimactic and it seems there needs to be a bit more of the story, but that's all we can cover in this short time. Mujatria starts his rule in Indoscythia. He succeeds his father, the previous king of Indoscythia, Carathotus. Carathotus. Now, Ovid, the poet who was exiled a few years ago, completes Tristia III, 
describing the sadness of banishment. He also describes what he did to get banished and according to him it is worse than murder. Here we will look at the people who passed away in year 10 with a few previously mentioned. De Dimus Carcinterus, a Greek scholar and prolific writer in ancient times, dies. He was born in Alexandria in year 63 BCE and is known for writing so many books that he struggled to recollect all of them. Strato II, as previously mentioned, the last king of Indo-Greek kingdom dies, ending the political entity uh, as well. The Indo-Scythian elite fills the void created by this. Now, Strato II started his reign in year 25 BCE and succeeded his predecessor Meander II. Hello the Elder, a Babylon a Babylonian sage scholar and Jewish leader passed away apparently at the age of 120 a very interesting scholar of the Torah a good read of him is suggested Zionessus dies he was an Indo-Scythian king from 10 BCE of the area of southern Kashmir Karahostas also dies, as previously mentioned, and he was an Indo-Scythian ruler in what is today northern India. Most of what is known of him comes from a few coins that is found in the region. Much of his reign is uncertain, and very little details is clear to historians. So, that is year 10. If we forgot anyone, any births, any deaths, any events, please remind us in the comments below. And please, subscribe we are going to try and cover every year after this one as best as we can we have our videos on youtube facebook twitter on instagram damn it we even have it on tiktok if you are tired of my face we also have uh, we also converted this series into a podcast all the links will be below now thank you for watching and please come back next year